heat and temperature. Let's define these two concepts. Heat is a form of energy and makes things warm, as warm as when you stand next to a bonfire. Things called sources of heat are those that give off heat. Let's see some examples. The sun, these electrical appliances, burning gas, and burning wood. All these are examples of things that give off heat, and they can be natural as the sun or artificial. Now, what is temperature? It's a measure of how hot something is, and it is measured using a thermometer in degrees Celsius. Things become hotter when they gain heat and colder when they lose heat. Now that we know the two terms, let's see what they can do. Heat and temperature can change the state of matter. Let's see how. But first, let me remind you that matter can take three states. Do you know this? It's very easy. The first one is solid, then we have liquid and gas. Now we can go back to the part that heat can change the state of matter. For example, heat can change a solid into a liquid. Take a candle, for example. It's solid. But if we light a match, the wax melts and it becomes liquid. That's because the solid wax turns into liquid when it gains heat. And it goes back to its original state, that is solid, when it loses heat. Now that the candle is off, you can see it's solid again. Heat can also turn a liquid into a gas. Let's see a common example. The water in this pot is called liquid. If we heat it in the stove, the water boils and the liquid becomes gas. That's because the liquid turns into gas when it gains heat and goes back to its original state, that is liquid, when it loses heat. Well, this was all about heat and temperature. If you want a worksheet to work on this video, you can download it for free by clicking on the link below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please like and share. See you on my next video.